Hello everyone, it's Wilby4041. I'm back with kind of the third part to my recent mini series on my live show my live showing tips um, playlist. And this is the briar molds that I actually do prefer for showing. Um, I've kind of combined them into divisions of breeds, and I'm just gonna go through and kind of say why I prefer them, why I don't, if they're the best, if they're average. Um, that kind of thing. If you have not viewed my molds that I dislike and the reasons why, please go check that out, as well as my video about comparing uh, Peter Stone with Briars with Schleichs. Um, I think those could be very helpful in addition to any of the other videos in my live show playlist that this will be added to. So first we're going to start off with Thoroughbred slash Sport Breeds. Um, on top here I have Lonesome Glory and the Classic Man of War molds. For Thoroughbred, these two are kind of my personal favorite for Thoroughbreds. Um, I just think that they have that nice thoroughbred quality to them. They're lightweight, but they do have structure. They have musculature. Um, their conformation is, is great, and they do not have the molding, sculpting problems that Cigar and Ruffian do for me. Um, I would place either of these models first in a class. It would really depend on the condition and what else was on the table. Uh, some judges do still prefer Cigar and Ruffian, so you might still see those models placed as well. It just depends on who's judging. Um, but these are my two personal favorite thoroughbreds. And then down here we have kind of my top three warm bloods, more or less. Um, I really like Giselle a lot, specifically Gigi Valentine. I think she makes a really nice Mecklenburg. When you read the breed standard for the breed, she fits it very nicely. We also have um, True North, who recently came out. Uh, he's a nice sculpt. He's a nice model. Um, just really a new player on the table. And the, his particular color for, for this run um, is a little bit off in terms of trying to find a warm blood breed that really fits the frame pattern as well as the silver color. But the sculpt itself is, is really nice. And then I also have Tatalis listed. Um, he's a decent model as well. I do like him. He was kind of one of the first models that was released in, I think, 2013. That was almost like a artist resin, resin quality regular run. We were all kind of astounded that his quality was as nice as it was. And now he's kind of being pushed aside by the newer sculpts. But I do still really like him. Uh, you'll also see possibly the show Jumping Warmblood placed on occasion that's more of an average sculpt as well as Celtic Selenero, um for me, but you'll see him placed as well. So just depending on what's on the table, any of these molds could do well, um, but these are kind of my top picks for the Warmblood division. So moving on, we have the all infamous Arabian division. My personal favorite is Ashquar, and not only this mold, but also this particular model. I really do prefer his chestnut color. I think it's really vibrant and dappled and nice and shaded. I like the mold itself because I think that it is really proper for an Arabian at this day and age. Some people pr prefer when Arabian profiles weren't as concave as they currently are, but now they are getting more concave, so I think that he really is an accurate representation of the modern Arabian stallion that you would see. I also threw Weather Girl up here because she's really, really close to Ashquar, probably my second choice. Um, just that little bit less of a concaveness to her face, but she's a mare, so she's a little bit more refined. But I do really like that sculpt as well. And I also threw up here the Generation 1 Arabian Stallion uh, Stablemate because some models, some judges do still like him um, as well. I've seen him place on occasion and breed, and especially the older models in collectability, so he does well um, too as well, so I thought I would throw him in. But those are kind of my top two um, Arabians. And then we have Gated. So for Gated, I did uh, Bluegrass Bandit as the kind of best Tennessee walking horse sculpt. The Stablemate one is okay, um, but I really do prefer this traditional mold a lot more. I really do enjoy that she's in kind of a relaxed pleasure gait and not the exaggerated one that you might see in the show ring. More like you would see her on a trail or being a, just a, a general family horse for someone. And then for American Saddlebred, I have the traditional American Saddlebred and then the also Generation 1 American Saddlebred Stablemate, who I personally prefer over the traditional. Um, but either of these molds I've seen do well and could do well in American Saddlebred class. Um, they're just, they have the refinement, but also the sturdiness that is required of an American Saddlebred. So then down here, 
we have Spanish and light breeds. Um, so I have Alvarozo as the number one Andalusian stallion as always. I don't think any of the new scalps, even Duende, come close to Alvarozo. I don't think he'll, he'll ever really be replaced. We'll see. But right now, even um, almost 10 years after he came out, he still is one of the best uh, Spanish sculpts. I also threw Hermosa up here because I think she's pretty nice. Um, Duende, the newest Premier Club, well, the second Premier Club release for this year, I think is okay. Um, but I didn't really put him on here because I do think he has some molding issues that happened in production. Um, but he could be thrown on here as well. And Dostato could be thrown here as well too, but I have him listed later for a different division. And then for light breeds, I put the Generation 1 Morgan Stallion. Um, just because I think that he is a nice model as well. Um, I really do prefer the Lippet Morgans over the more stylized, almost Arabian style Morgans. So I think that he has that original structure that is listed within the original um, Morgan breed standard. So he's kind of my number one Morgan. I know Flash is thrown in here sometimes and so is like the Justin Morgan mold, which I think is okay. Um, don't really prefer Marabella. I think her confirmation is kind of too wonky and too off to be considered. Um, but this guy I do really like a lot. Then we have Pony and Draft. So for Pony and Draft, I really like the classic Gretel sculpt, uh, classic Halflinger. That is kind of my top pony sculpt. I think she just has a really nice refined face. And just by looking at her, you can tell in her face that she really is a pony. Um, also the Stablemate Highland pony is pretty nice. And Flash is also considered a pretty decent pony sculpt as well, um, depending on his breed assignment. And then I also threw in Newsworthy. The Newsworthy Sculpt, I think that one's decent if you can find a good breed assignment for him. And also, um, Bouncer is more of an average sculpt, but depending on what's on the table, he might place two. For Draft, Shannondell has really taken the Draft world by storm. Um, he's definitely the best Draft Sculpt that Briar has now. Uh, the classic Briar Shire Sculpt is okay, and the, um, of course, Othello is alright, and even the... I think it's Generation 1 Stablemate Standing Draft Guy sometimes places as well, but Shannon Dell is definitely the top. Then we have the infamous stock division. Um, my favorite stock mold is Bobby Joe. I just think that she has really the nice, thick um, structure that is required of a stock horse, but she's also in a, in a position that you don't see often, but she has the muscling as well, muscling detail. Um, just a really nice sculpt overall, really um, detailed. And then Wyatt is also up there too. I like him a lot as well. The less detailed sculpts, such as Lady Phase, I would also consider placing. Um, I don't really like Geronimo a lot. I think he's almost too, like, uphill standing for uphill downhill. I just, I don't really like him. I see him more sporty than a actual stock model. Um, so he's not really one of my top placing ones, but also I p did put in here Smarty Jones and Roxy because they're just more average sculpts, but I do think that they deserve to be uh, listed because they will place well on occasion. So they're also part of, of this whole large, large group that you will see. And then finally I have Mustang. So my actual personal favorite for Mustang is the Destato mold. I actually really like it as a Mustang. I think that the profile is convex, which I prefer to see in a Mustang. Um, I feel that they tend to usually have the convex profiles more than just straight. And I just think his body is nice and compact. He has the, the squareness, the roundness that you would see in a Mustang. Um, Nakoda is up here as well. He's pretty decent, and then I also listed the classic uh, Mustang Stallion. It's an older sculpt, a little bit wonky with its confirmation, but I've seen him do well too because he has kind of the look of an old band stallion that you might actually see, so um, he's up here as well. But that's my opinion. That's my divisions that I did, um, just kind of the most popular sculpts that you might see out there. And really any model that I didn't mention in this is more or less in between. The vintage molds don't really tend to place at all in breed. Um, and then of course I have my video about molds that I dislike and reasons why. So go check those out. If you have not, please list any suggestions if you want any more specific live showing tip videos that 
I haven't elaborated on or that aren't listed yet. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Please check back. I'll have more videos coming out in the future, especially near Christmas time. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.